The change in the seasons can bring changes in your routine, including skin care. Here's Nick LaCour with more on what dermatologists have to say. As the days are getting shorter, physicians tell us that we are entering a time of year when eczema and psoriasis inflammations are more common. Here's why. There are basically three main changes to the weather, decreased ultraviolet, decreased humidity, and colder air that contribute to changes in the skin that really bring out a lot of inflammatory conditions. Of course, we all experience those. You know, we all get chapped lips, we all get a little dry skin, but you know, we even have a condition we call winter itch, which is brought on by winter conditions, and, and that's a particular pattern of eczema. But. A decrease in ambient ultraviolet light is usually due to a reduction in the amount of sunlight we are exposed to while outside. We are told that UV light can help suppress certain inflammatory diseases as well. Dermatologists say that winter clothing can also bring its own set of challenges. Really harsh fabrics tend to be tough on the skin. Of course, when it gets colder, what do we do? We all bundle up. We all wear more clothes. We tend to wear thicker clothes, and we tend to wear products that, such as wool, for instance, that are better insulating for our body. So people who are compromised with those conditions, they have the added problem that then now they're trying to combat the weather, they have the problems of wearing more clothing. So. Dr. Walters adds that using a humidifier can be a great addition to your room for winter days that tend to be dry. In Jones County, meteorologist Nick LaCour, WDAM7, on your side. Dermatologists recommend using moisturizer or other forms of preventative maintenance for the best results.